the amazing fast fashion supply chain. Whether you like it or not, fast fashion has fundamentally altered how people shop. Worldwide, the fashion market is about $2.5 trillion, and by 2029, fast fashion is estimated to account for 43% of that market. Fast fashion is sometimes thought to be a relatively recent phenomenon that emerged as a result of retailers like Zara's ability to market trends quickly and affordably. However, the word rapid fashion is actually only a label for a production system that has been growing in popularity since the 1800s. Have you ever thought about what makes the fast fashion supply chain so incredible, though? Reduced lead times The main goal of fast fashion is to quickly transform the hottest trends from the runway or from social media into wearable items. The quickest lead time from design concept to sale is therefore crucial, with a few extra days making all the difference. For instance, Zar develops 12,000 new patterns annually, and its quickest items can be produced in as little as 6 weeks. This might sound quick. But in terms of Boohoo, this is a long time. Boohoo has exceptionally quick lead time since they can create, produce, and ship quantities of a single design in under two weeks. Since their lead times are so short, they can respond to customer trends in once more quickly. Trial and Error Rapid fashion primarily relies on cyclical trends. Several firms, especially those that rely largely on their online presence, adopt the test and repeat strategy to avoid being forced to hold on to large quantities of inventory that they can't sell. This allows them to test out different styles and price points before ramping up production. For instance, Boohoo will only produce 300 units of a single line and gauge its sales before placing orders for and replenishing stock of popular lines. Outsourcing Several fast fashion companies outsource their production to nations with low manufacturing costs in order to keep prices as cheap as possible, and they then ship their items to the locations where they will be sold. Asia is regarded as a major producer of apparel, despite the fact that many fast fashion companies don't disclose the precise location of their factories. This is evident, for instance, in the textile manufacturers utilized by Asus and H&M, who mostly get their apparel from China and India. Sustainability Although the fast fashion industry's supply chain can be viewed as effective and its expansion as a major factor in the garment industry's projected over doubling by 2030, the industry's sustainability track record is particularly alarming. With figures indicating that the fashion sector is responsible for 20% of freshwater pollution and 10% of all carbon emissions globally, there is growing concern about the environmental impact of every step in the clothing supply chain. Although the industry has a negative influence on the environment, steps are being taken to attempt and mitigate it, such as the sustainable cotton communique. In the fashion sector, social sustainability is being neglected in particular. Although this is not broken down by industry, it is estimated that 24.9 million individuals around the world are utilized as forced labor. Nonetheless, $9,289,350 worth of garment imports are polluted by slave labor every year in the UK alone. For instance, allegations that forced Uyghur labor was used in the Xinjiang area of China in 2020 damaged the reputation of the fashion industry. With over 82 international fashion firms, including fast fashion shops C&A, H&M, and Zara, having ties to the Xinjiang region, the accusations tarnished the entire industry. While trade liberalization made it simpler for many fashion companies to outsource their production networks to nations with access to cheap labor, the recent emergence of fast fashion has led to businesses choosing to reshore manufacturing to be close to the domestic markets, like the UK. Despite the rigorous standards in many nations, this has led to claims of forced labor and inadequate regulations. Boohoo is just one business that has been accused of using forced labor in its supply chains in Leicester. In 2020, an article exposed Boohoo's unsustainable procurement practices, which included crucial problems such paying employees as little as £3 to £4 per hour. Nevertheless, to yet, this has not been the case with Boohoo, who have witnessed increased sales despite the pandemic. This should have had an influence on the brand's sales due to a poor brand image and consumers not wanting to buy in an unsustainable brand. Final Thoughts in two aspects, the fast fashion supply chain is genuinely incredible. On the one hand, it deserves praise for being able to function with such short lead times, low pricing, and effective inventory management techniques. This sector can teach other supply chains a lot of valuable things. On the other hand, it is astounding that a sector of the economy that has been tarnished by allegations of forced labor is still expanding. Thanks for watching.
Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and like the video. Thanks again. Have a great day.